Yeah. Yeah. Well... All right, let's go. Welcome home.
uh...
All right, let's go home. Welcome back. They look good. Great vegetables. Excited to see them come in.
Yo! Let's go. You made me realize that. You're back. Hey.
If you want, you can change the channel. Hello, Okina Station. That was easier than I thought. He actually followed us all the way here. <laughs> that was a breeze. It's no sweat keeping up with a couple of guys still getting used to their scooters. Psh, if I hadn't run out of gas back there, we'd have left you in the dust. I shouldn't have cheaped out on gas just so I could have more money to fool around with. You know, I notice every time I come here, there's a lot of people around. Yeah, if we hang out around here, I bet someone will come talk to us. Actually, uh, mind if I head off for a bit? <laughs> Since I came all the way to Okina, uh, there... Is this craft shop? It, it, it's nothing. I'm just just saying I gotta go buy some stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go do my own thing for a bit, so you guys get started without. Then why'd he come with us? You're right. Okay, let's get this plan underway.
Sorry to make you guys wait. I couldn't decide which one to get. No luck, huh? This is so weird. I think someone's watching us from somewhere, though. Oh, hold on. I'm sure if we hang around a little longer... Dude, the sun's gonna set. Well, maybe there's some holes in your plan after all. Nah, you're fine. Your motorcycle looks cool, and you don't look so bad yourself. You said every guy needs a motorcycle, but that thing's a scooter. Does it, like, not matter what kind of motorcycle it is as long as you got one? Well, it's true that the ones I saw in the magazine were all big motorcycles. But that's just how it goes. There's always a gap between a man's dream and cold, hard reality. I can't afford an expensive one. A scooter's the best I could do. Senpai, can you give me 10 minutes? I can't keep quiet after getting shut out like this. I'll avenge you guys. This isn't a fight, you know. What are you gonna do to avenge us? Hit on some girls? Hell yeah! How else would I fix this? Come on, we have motorbikes and we failed. There's no way you could do better, right? What are you saying? Even instant ramen takes five minutes to make. Now that's my senpai! Let's make this a contest. I'll show you clowns how a real man gets it done. Calm down. This is turning into something we've all got a stake in. I mean, do you realize what you're saying? This means we're the ones that have to approach the girls. That just sounds lame. And I doubt it'll go well for us. You chicken? That's not what I mean. All we gotta do is ask them to be our friend, and then make them say yes. Nothing to it. Well, I guess there's nothing to lose. That's the spirit, senpai. If I lose, I'll run around the block in nothing but my underwear and those gag glasses Yukiko-senpai had. Only girls count for this, all right? You're still stuck on that? Damn it! Hell if I'm gonna lose this!
How'd it go? Not as well as I hoped. I thought so. Oh, but I did get a phone number from some chick who said to give her a call. Does that count? A girl hit on you? What did she say? Something like it only costing so much for an hour. I don't know. What was she talking about? How dense are you? There's no way that counts. What about you? Did you get anything? Way to go, partner. Was it her cell? What kind of girl was it? Come on, you should call her up. Please. Pretty please. Please! How many times are you gonna beg? So you're gonna call her, right? Right? She picked up! Oh, Senpai's the man. Uh, hello? Oh, I get it! It's you, huh? You rat bastard! You're dead, shitbird! How dare you hit on my girl! I'll rip off your head and spit down your neck! You better not call again, got it? I can hear him from here. Is that dude for real? Well, <laughs> that's a risk you take. All right, I'm up next. Last chance. You pulled it off, Yosuke Senpai? <laughs> of course I did. One phone number right here. Amazing. Man, it wasn't easy, too. She was crazy hot. I just had to push myself a bit and go for a sexy older woman. Time to give her a call. I hope you guys are ready for this. Hello? It's me. Yosuke-kun? Yep, the guy who asked you out on a motorcycle ride. Man, I can't wait. Huh? You know my name? Did I tell you? Of course I know your name. Huh. We go to the same school. We do? Well, that's impossible. I mean, you... Wait. That voice. This is Hanako Otani. Who did you think I was? Uh, how did you get my number? Oh, God! I'm in such deep shit! D -d Did I call the wrong number? One more try. Hello, it's me. Yeah, I know who you are. You really want to go on a date with me that much? The hell was that? It sounded like a fiend from the pits of the earth. <sighs> I could feel a chill go down my spine. Forget about it. For your own sake. This number is dangerous. It's better that you don't know what that was. Oh, you guys. Hanako-san! Why are you here? The countryside's no place for a girl like me. I was taking a walk when I suddenly got a phone call. <laughs> You're really into me, aren't you? A motorcycle date, huh? Well, if you want to take a ride that bad, I'll go with you. <laughs> Wait! Oh, what's with this scooter? It's broken. If you want to take me out, you've got to do better than that. The best girls don't go steady for nothing, you know. 
You need to make an effort. Am I cursed? Did I insult a gypsy or something? <laughs> Easy for you to say. I don't even have a way to get home now. Senpai, you fought well. I was totally moved by all that. Come on, hop on behind me. I'll get you back home safe. Whoa! Up close and personal! I get it now. So this is what your plan was about. <laughs> oh, you don't get anything! And you're freaking me out! And dude, it's against the law to have two people on a bike. It's okay, just put an end to this suffering already. Give me a break. Uh.
Really? No! Potatoes, onions, mushrooms, green peppers, and radishes? Are radishes the same as turnips? Curry's fine, right? It's practically our national food. We were going back and forth between ramen and curry, but I thought ramen might not be enough for you guys. ingredients Yosuke likes. I get the feeling he's real picky. He's on another floor, isn't he? Do you want me to go ask? Ready for something. Hmm. Hey, Chie, you use potato starch for curry, right? Of course you do. Otherwise, the sauce wouldn't thicken. Then we need potato starch and some flour, too. There's different kinds of flour. Which one should we get? All purpose? Whole wheat? Hmm, whole wheat sounds healthy. Let's get that one. And here they are. Chili peppers. It's not curry if it isn't spicy. Oh well, let's just get everything that seems right. How about some kimchi too? Ooh, and some ground pepper.
There's two kinds though, black and white. Whoa, way to go, Yukiko. The Amagi family sure knows their stuff. Let's get both, just in case. Oh yeah, we'll need some special ingredients too to spice things up. on TV about that. I think it was, um, chocolate, uh, coffee, yogurt? <gasps> How about mint chocolate? Ooh, I love that stuff. I don't like coffee that much, though. Oh, I can drink mocha, so let's get that. What about some seafood? That should make the sauce taste better. You're back. Hey. Ah. Hey. Picking up all that trash was murder on my back. I can't believe someone threw away an entire bike. Damn it, litterers should have to deal with their own garbage. Anyways, time for dinner. Man, I'm starving. 
Dude, the girls cook just for us. Not that I expect much out of Chie, but Yukiko's got the full tradition of the Amagi Inn behind her food. It's going to be out of this world. Hey, what's the matter? Is it okay if I have yours? Can't wait to dig in. Taste this? Huh? If you do it first. Oh man, here it comes. Uh, sorry for the wait. Um. love into it. Well, really? That's kind of cliche, but still awesome. Okay, then. Chow time. and it's got squishy parts in it. It's so freaking nasty, I can't even swallow it. Well, it just didn't mix too well, but it does offer a wide variety of textures. It's nauseating. Come on, it's not that bad. That's just your opinion. I'm telling you as a friend, don't do it. I wouldn't even joke about trying that slop. We're sorry. Sorry. What are we gonna do? Our group's the only one without food. I mean, if it was even slightly edible, that'd be one thing. But I'm not taking another bite of this mystery food X. <gasps> Something smells good. Hanako. Oh, I don't have any choice. And besides, she owes me, considering what she did to my motorcycle. Hey, uh, Hanako. You wouldn't happen to have any extra curry left, huh? Come on, give us some! We're begging you! We're starving to death here! <sighs> no way! <laughs> I'm on a diet right now, so this is all that I made. It has to last me. All that you made? It's like a bucket full. Oh, I wonder if there's any way we can get something delivered here. But our cell phones don't get service up here. 
And dinner time's almost over. All right, back to your tents. Men's tents are this way, and the girls' tents are that way. Come on, people, look alive! Youngsters like yourselves should hurry up and get to bed after they eat. It's now time for us teachers to have some boo. I mean, uh, off to bed! Lights out! You guys are gonna pay for this. <laughs> Night. Damn it, I'm so hungry. And how the hell did you end up here? My teach threatened to hold me back a year if I didn't show. And the first year's tent is all quiet, it's like someone died. Well, if you were in there with him, I'm not surprised. Is it just you two in this tent? The other guys called in sick. Smart move. So it's okay if I hang out here? Hey, you're a stand-up guy, senpai. Don't worry, I won't make any trouble for you. They won't catch me unless we raise a ruckus. All right, all right, you can sleep over there. Dude, there's a huge rock under there. How am I supposed to sleep? It's gonna hurt like hell. Pipe down! Didn't you say you weren't gonna make any noise? Yo, senpai. Can't you go just a little further back? Nope. There's a slope just past here. I'd roll down the hill in my sleep. If you don't like it here, go back to the first year tent. Hey, wasn't your teacher some guy called King Moron? That guy stopped me outside earlier and he pissed me off so bad I was about to lose it. He was going on and on about when I was in middle school. When he doesn't know shit about any of that. Not only that, he was bullshitting about how I'll be expelled immediately if I cause trouble. That ain't funny, man. Yeah, that guy set a speed record for jumping to conclusions. Check this out, right? I heard it from a guy in my class. He said that asshole was talking shit about the two girls who died. King Moron was talking about Ms. Yamano and Saki-senpai? It was like, it's no surprise that people who are unfaithful or run away from home meet a bad end. I don't know, maybe he was exaggerating. Everyone seems to hate that son of a bitch Moraoka. Damn, I could just picture him saying that. He never shut up about me either when I moved here last year. Not that I remember anything he said. Even if it's only a little true, it still pisses me off. The dickhead's a damn teacher, for God's sake. Now, nah, don't waste your energy getting pissed at that clown. <clears throat> yeah, you got a point. Wait a sec. What are you eating? Animal crackers? What the? Those are mine! Damn it! I was so pumped about finding the penguin today. Penguin? The secret animal cracker! You were eating them and you didn't know that? Are you serious? Well, you should have said something. Oh, well. Oh, this isn't gonna fill me up. Oh, let's just go to sleep. That's all you gotta say for yourself after taking my snacks. Kanji?
Don't you have more space on your side? And I can't sleep over there. Or my back's gonna break. Oh, okay. Uh, hey. Yeah? Why'd you come to this tent? <laughs> I already told you. Jeez, wrong with you. This is as good a time as any, so I want you to be honest with us. Uh, okay. Are you really, you know? Am I really what? What I mean is, um, are we going to be safe alone with you? What? to mean. I already told you guys I'm not like that. Well, then why are you all hot and bothered about it? That's just more suspicious. Hell no! We settled this already, damn it. Right now I'm... Well, how do I put it? Uh... Oh, God, don't trail off like that. You're freaking me out. I'm trying to tell you that I have no problem being around girls now. Can you prove it? <sighs> prove it? Because if you can't, we're going to be stuck here all night, half scared to death. <laughs> to hell with this. If that's what you really think of me, then I'm going to go hit the girls' tent right now. Wait, well, that's a little extreme. You don't have to go that far. They'll expel you if they find you. Don't tell me you forgot. King Moron's got his eye on you. Yeah, like that stop a man like me. Seriously going for it. Hey man, you gotta stop him. You think I'm gonna put up with this crap? I'll show you guys. To hell with King Moron. No one's stopping Kanji Tatsumi, damn it. Declare myself not responsible for anything that happens. <sighs> now I get why we're the only three in here. I can't sleep. Oh, I'm hungry too. I should have eaten a little more of that curry. It might have knocked us unconscious. Sheesh, we can't sleep, we can't walk around. I wonder what Teddy's doing right now. Being alone all day is pretty rough when you think about it. You know, a while ago he...
Where'd we go, though? I don't think climbing down the mountain is a good idea. Do you think she'd stop snoring if I covered her nose and mouth? No, 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 Yukiko, no! Ugh, I can't take it anymore. <gasps> Who's there? Hey. Are you guys still up? What are you doing here? This is the guy's side! Let us in! Don't be ridiculous. If King Moron finds out, we'll be expelled. Go back to your tent! We can't! Are there any rotten apples out and about? Any indecent students out there? All right, hurry up and get in. So why are you two here? Well, it's Kanji-kun. He's out cold. I I don't know what happened. He just came in and then and then he he fainted all of a sudden. That's all, right, Yukiko? Huh? Uh, yeah. So there was no way we could sleep with him lying there, and, you know, if we woke him up, he might have made a fuss. That's why we left him there. What? That makes no sense. He busted into your tent, then suddenly fainted. Listen up! Being insolent and being indecent are very different things. It's him! He's right outside! Hey, turn the light off! Hey, are you two in there? Answer me! Huh? Ah, so you're in there. Is Hanamura already asleep? Yes, sir. Fast asleep, sir. Don't get cute, Hanamura. Shut up and go back to sleep. <sighs> Ugh. I think I had one too many. I'm so sleepy. <sighs> there goes a couple years off my lifespan. No joke! We were nearly expelled! Hey, this is you guys' fault! Well, what else are we supposed to do? Anyways, we can't leave now. We'll sneak out before the others wake up tomorrow. Is that good enough for you? What are you so pissed off for? You better not try any funny stuff while we're asleep. Is that clear? Hey, we didn't say you could... Damn it, you owe us for this. Looks like we're the only ones here. What's wrong? Got a stomach ache? No, it's just... I thought I got 
pissed and ran out of the tent last night. It's so weird. Was it a dream? And when I woke up, I was in Yosuke Senpai's tent. It, it was a dream. Must have been a dream. Okay. All right then, let's get swimming. Are you seriously taking a swim? I'll pass. I'm still all stiff. What are you looking at us for? If you guys want to swim, go right ahead. You know, you two still owe us. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> We're not going in there. I mean, we do owe you, but... Oh, yeah! We don't have swimsuits with us. Man, of all the luck. Yeah, it really is unfortunate. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. We put up with your dinner, we save you from King Moron, and you won't even have some fun with us in the river. No, it's really too bad. It'd be no problem if I had just had a swimsuit. <laughs> Ta-da! I've got you covered. They're Juness brand originals from our brand new line of swimwear that just came in for the summer. I had a clerk friend of mine choose them for me. Pretty swanky. Dude, that's just wrong. Did you have those this whole time? Come on, let's all go swimming. What should we do, Yukiko? It'd be no problem if I just had a swimsuit. You know, we really were looking forward to dinner. I wonder what would have happened if we didn't help you guys last night. We get it already. Sheesh, you just never let things go. All right, that's more like it. Did those two go to get changed? Come on, let's get in. Whoa, man. Stop staring like that. Hey. that come from? Man, this is going even better than I expected! Kind of makes up for having to eat that mystery food X last night. And come on, you guys got to admit I chose some good suits. Those girls might be childish on the inside, but I bet they're going to turn into some fine-looking women before too long. Don't you think so? You guys crossed the line. Definitely. <gasps> it's freezing! You didn't have to push us in. Who cares? You were going in the river anyway. themselves. Sheesh, aren't they the worst, Kanji Kun? Hey, you've been awful quiet. Are you feeling okay? Don't don't tell me the injuries from yesterday are still. Uh. What? What was that for? I didn't do anything! Hey, 
Hey, what's gotten into you? Huh? Do you hear something over there? <laughs> So that's why no one else was here. Good thing we noticed before we went in. Senpai. Don't say it.
हाँ Let's go. Whatever. I said no. That's right.
How stupid. That concludes Rise Kujikawa's statement regarding her temporary leave of absence from the entertainment industry. We're short on time, so if anyone has any remaining questions, we ask that you please keep them brief. I'm Ishioka from Ladies View. It says here that you'll be recuperating. Are you facing physical problems? No, my health isn't an issue. Psychological problems, then? What? Rumor has it you'll be staying with your relatives, but isn't that in Inaba where the murders have been taking place? Huh? Um... Is it true that they run a traditional tofu shop? Will you be helping out with the family business? No more questions. This press conference is over. Clear the way, please! Is Rise-chan quitting her job on TV? Who knows? But if this is her hometown, we'll have to deal with everyone who's trying to get a glimpse. I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> calorie magic is made for those worried about their calorie intake and body fat. It'll slim you down in no time. Risei Kujikawa, huh? The one good thing about this town was that it had nothing of note. Now we get all the buzz. What's going on? Yo. Yo. Hey, there he is. You've been coming to school pretty often lately. What's up? It's this annoying thing called the mandatory attendance policy. But man, seeing you here kind of reminds me of the school camp out. I thought we were all gonna forget about what happened. Oh, sorry. <sighs> eh, whatever. So hey, you guys see the news? News? Oh, that stuff about Risei Kujikawa taking a break from showbiz? I wonder why. She was just getting popular lately. Just goes to prove that being an idol is tough work. Huh? You don't know her? Dude, what's wrong with you? She's all over the media. It hasn't been that long since her debut, but at this rate, she'll be a top-class idol in no time. To be honest, I'm a fan too. She's such a cutie pie. A cutie pie? What are you, 80? But I think she used to live here, so she must have a lot of local fans. 
The news said she's going to her grandmother's tofu shop, right? Do they mean Marukyu? Marukyu? Marukyu tofu. Our inn was serving their tofu until recently. Oh, that place in the shopping district. I pass by it all the time. Wait. Does that mean I can meet Rise if I go to her tofu shop? Hey, aren't we getting a little sidetracked from the point here? Did you forget about the murders? You're the one who said the connection between the victims might be the TV. She could be the next target! Come on, it's not like Rise started showing up on TV just recently. Also, how could Rise be connected to the incident so far? I wondered the same thing, so I did some research. It seems that she had no personal interaction with Miss Yamano. They've just been on the same show once or twice. She's been an idol for a while now, but she's the talk of the town thanks to the news last night. And she is moving here after all. So if our assumptions are correct, she fits the pattern. She'll probably be targeted next. And if she is, that narrows down the killer's methods even further. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Kanji-kun, listen real carefully. If Rise is next, then that lets us rule out our theory that the targets have to be connected with the first case. And that means the killer's targets are people who have been shown on TV recently. Get it now? Huh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, we have to keep a close eye on everything Rise does. Let's do it! Sheesh, he's all pumped up.
Yo! You're back. Hmm? Sorry. No. What's wrong?
man. Sorry. night.
Hey! Fly. Where am I going, you ask? Don't ask stupid questions. I don't need a map. I throw away my compass. My heart will show me the way. I walk by myself. Am I not lonely, you ask? Yeah, right. I scorn the company of my own shadow. Freedom. That is the rule. Why don't you try and hold me down? I will die magnificently in front of you. No one can break my wings. What is this?
guess I shouldn't be so excited. There's a chance she might get kidnapped. Come on, we should go there tomorrow. Uh, what was it called again? Uh, oh yeah, Maruku Tofu. Dude, my heart's pounding already. We'll see you tomorrow. Did you hear? It looks like Risei Kujikawa really is here. You know the tofu store, Maruku? The owners of that place have the same last name, Kujikawa. Seriously? Hey, I practically live next door. I've been hearing that there's a big crowd at Maruku. I'm not surprised. But was it really her on yesterday's Midnight Channel? Didn't she seem a little... different? It was her, no doubt about it. Her curves, her posture, even her beautiful slim legs. What's that look for? Anyways, I'm positive, right? Uh, are we going? I don't really care about celebrities, but it's not like I got anything better to do. Sure. I'll tag along. Sorry, but me and Yukiko have plans. Give us a call if anything comes up. Well, shall we get going? But let's be clear on one thing. We're not spectators. We're on an investigation, got it? Mr. Detective, did something happen? Oh, it's you guys. Ay, ay, ay. These gawkers keep streaming in with their cars trying to park in the middle of the shopping district. Why is that? Don't you know? Risei Kujikawa's here. Hey, did you see her already? Is she there? Which is it? Huh? We're asking why a plainclothes detective is here doing traffic control. Oh, uh, well, the Inaba Police Department isn't that big. We don't have enough staff. Well, I still have work to do, so I'll see you later. Dude, you managed to scare off a police detective on active duty! I wasn't trying to scare the guy. I just said what I was thinking. But you're right. It's weird for the police to come out like this. Hey, you think the police suspect that Risa might be the next target, too? All right, clear out. Coming through. Hey, Adachi. Damn it, I told him not to leave his post. What are you guys doing? Hmm? Kanji Tatsumi. Are you friends with them? Like it's any of your business. If you say so. So I'll ask again. What are you all doing here? Is that so? Oh, um... Well, who wouldn't want to come check it out if they found out an Idol's family ran an ordinary tofu store? I'm a, a big fan! Hmm. Fine. But remember, she might be a celebrity, but this is her home. Try not to bother them too much. That cop's your uncle, huh? So, what the hell was that about? Are you guys under suspicion? Well, they did take us in once. But we can't just tell him everything, right? If we say anything about the other world, we only look more suspicious. They'll be watching us all the time. Got a point there. 
Ah, uh, man. There's no one in there but the old lady. Rosetta isn't here after all. I heard that she really is already here, but it might have just been a rumor. Well, it was fun while it lasted. You sound like the world's about to end. Shut up! Anyways, now that all those people are gone, we might as well check inside. I'll buy something. Oh yeah, I can't eat tofu. So? Just get some ganmodoki. Ganmodoki? Is that the kind with the rice cake in it? There's no rice cakes in them. They're sort of like fried tofu patties with veggies and stuff mixed in and... Oh, okay. I know what you mean. I think I can eat that. Let's see here. Sure enough, the only one here is your typical old lady. <sighs> Man, why don't you just ask if she's in back? Excuse me! Uh, yes, may I help you? What the... then, who's that? What? <sighs> uh, are you Rise? Yeah, so? No way! Are you really reset? What do you want? Huh? Oh, sorry, um, uh, some tofu, please? Tofu? Which kind? Huh? Wh which one's which again? If you're going to eat it by itself, you should go with silken. Moment's better for cooking. Depends how you use it. Uh... Um... Kanji, order something! Why are you making me do it? You already picked Ganmo a second ago. Dude here wants three Ganmodoki. Oh, I see. I'll go get them. Wow. She's nothing like she seems on TV. I wonder if she's just tired. Man, but it's really her! I'm so glad I came. Mission comp- Wait, we haven't done what we came here for yet. Um... Uh, have you noticed anything weird lately? Weird? Like stalkers? Are you guys fans of mine? I wouldn't say we, but yeah. Dude here is a big fan. You little- Why'd you let that slip? Her curves, her posture, even her beautiful slim legs. You finished checking them out yet, or what? Oh, you're doing this on purpose, aren't you? I didn't say that. I never said any of that. Maybe you know already, but it's been dangerous in Inaba lately. And that's why we've been investigating some stuff. Oh, yeah? Sorry, um, uh, let's see. Do you know about the TV show that comes on at midnight? I mean, it's not like regularly scheduled programming. How do I explain this? That thing that was on last night. The Midnight Channel, yeah? Oh, you know about it? Wait, what? You, you mean you saw it last night? I heard the rumors from some friends of mine. But that girl last night wasn't me. I've never been filmed wearing that swimsuit before. And the bust line. Huh? Mine aren't that big. Oh yeah, I see what you mean now. I mean, what am I saying? Um, I'm sorry. Don't apologize so much. 
be funny. Hey, she smiled. What is that show about, anyway? Well, we're not too sure either. But you know there's been stuff happening here, right? We think the people who appear there are the ones who get kidnapped next. I know this is sudden, but we're not lying. Yeah, that's why we thought you should know about it. Huh, so that wasn't a dream. I was tired yesterday, but I couldn't sleep. And it was raining, so I decided to try that rumor I'd heard about. Hmm. All right, thanks. I'll be careful. Here you go, three ganmo. That'll be 600 yen. There's extra tofu in there for everyone. A little thank you for worrying about me. Oh, seriously? Thanks! Uh, Yosuke-senpai, you can't eat tofu, right? Want me to take yours? Hell no, I always eat what people give me. Thank you very much. Your receipt's in the bag. Seems like the crowds are thinning out, so we'll be leaving now. If it gets rowdy again, just give us a call at the station. Okay. Uh, hang on a second. I'm sorry, but there's some things I'd like to ask you. You do know that there have been multiple violent cases around here lately, yeah? Have you seen anyone suspicious around? Not really. It's been like always. Like always? Well, you're an idol, so I imagine you deal with folks like fans, paparazzi, and stalkers quite often. What made you take a break from showbiz? Does it really matter? I just needed a rest. And have you registered for school? I'm planning on going to Yasugami High. It was the closest. Well, I don't mean to alarm you, but... You do have some things in common with the recent victims. That's why... well... I might be kidnapped, right? I've been told that before. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Huh? Someone told you already? It was three guys. They were wearing uniforms, so I think they were high school students. Did one of them happen to look... How do I put it? Did he look something like a, a gang member? Wait, you think she's talking about your nephew and his friends? Something smells here. The recent disappearances. Between those and the two homicides, there's too many questions with no answers. To tell the truth, I followed my detective's intuition and came here to warn her. How could high school kids who know less than we do beat us to the punch? Were they just making up an excuse to talk to a famous celebrity? Or... Sir? Yasugami High. The second victim, Saki Kunishi and two other students who were missing for a while. I guess the investigation of the ones involved with the school hasn't turned up anything either. Aren't we gonna be in trouble if this keeps up? The prefectural police will be coming soon. They're the least of your worries. Keep your head in the game. We sure have.
have a lot of tofu. Yeah, it tastes great. You visited Risei Kujikawa today. What did you talk about? I told you to keep your hands off this. Listen, this is a job for the police. <sighs> Forget it. I shouldn't have brought it up. You guys met Risei-chan? <sighs> yeah. Are you... Fighting again? Of course not. Here, hurry and finish your dinner. So about the Midnight Channel last night, that had to be Risei Kujikawa. It even showed her face this time. So now we know one more thing. The ones that the culprit's targeting are... Exactly! so we can rule out the assumption that all the victims are connected to the incident with Ms. Yamano. As for Rise, I took a peek this morning and she was still at the shop. So I'm guessing that TV show thing doesn't appear on the Midnight Channel until after the person enters the TV. Teddy said before that it might be the victim's own creation upon entering that world. I didn't understand at all at first. But now I feel it may be true. The one that appears on TV is your other self. Maybe the victim's true feelings are shown unconsciously. But we see them on the Midnight Channel before they disappear. You know, when it's still really fuzzy and you can't tell who it is. How do you explain that part? Yeah, it always happens before the person disappears. Like an advance notice. Or like a ransom note. But who are they announcing it to? And for what? I don't know. Ask the killer. There's a bunch of stuff I still don't understand. Is it possible that we see those images for the same reason? Huh? What do you mean? If the Midnight Channel shows the victim's true feelings, maybe it does the same for the culprit. Maybe what we're seeing is the culprit's intentions. Well, it's a possibility. The killer can throw people into the TV after all, which means they must have the same power that we do. So, when the killer thinks, I'm gonna attack someone now, that's what we see on TV? I don't know about...
Like it's some kind of mix of the minds of the victims and the killer. Or maybe it's everyone's minds. Always, nothing makes sense. Hey, Kanji-kun, you still with us? Of course not. I was, uh, <clears throat> lost in thought. <sighs> I wish I knew what that world's all about. Teddy's explanations have so many maybes in them that I don't understand the first thing about it. Why would the culprits throw people inside the TV in the first place? They must know by now that people die when they're in there long enough. There's no doubt it's attempted murder. So the TV's a good way to do that, because the police can never prove anything about the crime. Murder, huh? So the killer's got a grudge against certain people? <laughs> well, I know there's a shitload of people who've got my number. How about you, Yukiko-senpai? Anyone hate you so bad they'd get rid of you forever? No. always a slight chance, and you just don't realize it. <laughs> but if we're trying to think of a common grudge someone would have against all the victims, well, I'm drawing a blank. Well, the good thing is we have another shot at getting ahead of the killer. We can leave the motive aside for now. Once we catch him, we'll make him talk. The only thing we can be sure of now is that Risei is in danger. Wait, we get to do another stakeout? Hell yeah! This time we'll catch him in the act! We gotta go with donuts and milk. You said it. There's no better meal than that for a man on a stakeout and throw in some disposable diapers. For what? They don't even sell those here. We have them at Juness. Oh, too much information! You guys finished yet? Let's hurry up and get going. What brings you here? Oh, uh, well, I'm doing legwork. Uh, what did I do to deserve babysitting detail? I mean, it's nothing major. It's not like Dojima-san ordered me here. So, what are you kids up to? Buying snacks? We were just about to head over to the tofu shop to see Risei-chan. Oh, I see. I'm on my way there, too. Oh, then why don't we go there together? Come on, he's a detective on active duty. Not a bad guy to have around. Don't stop. The culprit might get suspicious. But we walked past her like a thousand times already. Come on out, you bastard. We're ready for you. <gasps> Look! <laughs> Who's there? Get back 
here! Stop running, damn it! Don't come near me! Shut up! What kind of idiot would listen? I'll do it, you know. What are you gonna do if I get run over? What? No! If the suspect gets injured, the police will be held responsible. They'll get really angry and... Uh... I'll do it, I swear! S -s -s get out of here and stop chasing me! Hey, what should we do? Yeah, that's the quickest way. All right, on my mark. Look, over there, a Martian! Oh! How dare you assault an ordinary citizen like... Shut the hell up, murderer. We're taking your punk ass in. What? Time out! What do you mean, murderer? It's no use playing dumb! Wait a second! I just really like Rosette, so I wanted to take a peek in her room! Look, see? All I've got on me is a bunch of cameras! Yep, you're the culprit, all right. No two ways about it. All right, I'll take it from here. We'll hear your story down at the station. <laughs> I've waited to use that line. Please, let me go! I didn't do anything wrong! I know for a fact it's not a crime in this country to take secret pictures! Hey, don't you understand what's happening here? You're under suspicion of murder. Come with me. We'll talk about this later. Oh, that went better than I thought. What a coup. I gotta thank you guys for all your help. Well done. Oh, sure! But you really should stop getting involved with this stuff. It's dangerous. I know Dojima-san was worried sick. Come on, let's go. Is it really over? The rest is up to the cops. Looks like the killer was a pervert, just like we thought. Wait, does that mean the case is closed? Seriously? Hey, we should let Risa know the good news. Oh, hello. Would you like some tofu? Oh, uh, he hello. Um... Oh, did you come to see Risa? She seems to have gone out, unfortunately. Huh? But wasn't she just here? She does that sometimes. She'll just wander out without a word. You must forgive her. She's quite worn out in many ways. She left without saying anything? Come on, you worry too much. She must have just stepped out. I mean, we caught the guy. Well, what are you talking about? We'll discuss it later. If you'll excuse me, I've got to take this guy in for questioning. Man, I can't wait to see the look on Dojima-san's face! She left without saying anything? Could that mean... Shouldn't we look for her? She can't have gone far. 
Yeah, I agree. I can't find her anywhere. What about you guys? None of the neighbors have seen her. Maybe we're just not looking in the right places. But where could she have gone? Damn it, this can't be good. I hope I'm wrong. Well, we did everything we can. No use griping about it. The weatherman says it's gonna rain tonight, so let's just keep our fingers crossed and tune in. Oh, welcome home, big bro.
everyone was having fun out there. You forgot about me. I was abandoned. We would never do that. I'm sorry. Were you lonely? I was bored. It made me all listless. I'm a useless bear. I don't even know what I am. I couldn't figure it out. No one would come visit me. Then I thought I heard voices from your world. They were all having so much fun. I was so lonely that I tried to cry. But I couldn't. Well, you are hollow inside. Shut up! Stop saying I'm hollow! Don't snap at me. This is your world, isn't it? You're the one who said you just want to live here peacefully and made us promise to find the culprit. Come on! I'm sure Teddy's just tired from thinking so much, right? When I'm alone... I think too much. It makes me even lonelier. I was so sad that my chest would burst and cotton would fly out. Can I try scoring with you two someday? Sure. Go right ahead. Can we please drop the whole scoring thing? Anyways, we wanted to ask you something. How's it been over here? Did a girl called Rise Kujikawa show up? Can you sense anything? Rise Kujikawa? Hmm... You can't tell? Your nose is kind of losing its edge lately, huh? I'm a pretty shabby bear. Soon, I won't be useful at all. Then I'll get thrown away. I can stay with you all? Okay, then we'll go look for something that'll help you search, like last time. I can't tell for sure but I can kind of sense someone in here. I think I'll be able to find her. I just need some kind of hint. There's a lot of things I don't understand. Thank you very much. You're really kind, Sensei. I'll try even harder from now on! Waiting here.
lot. Oh, hello. I'm Ari Manami. It was nice seeing you.
mal. Hehehehehehe <laughs> I'll see you again. Yo!
uno. Okay, is everyone here? All right, let's brace ourselves.
Did you find out more about this girl, Rise-chan? Uh-huh. Her real self. I see. She's just like me. A delicate, sentimental type. Then... Hmm... Ah, there's something out there! Is this it? Did I find her? Follow me! What is this place? It's all dark. Whoa! Is this a... Oh, like the kind you always find in resort towns. Oh, I think you're right. We don't have one. Our inn is not like that. <laughs> huh. So this is a strip joint, huh? Strip? Ah, ha, ha, I know what that is. It's the thing zebras have, right? Oh. Strip. Like a zebra, right? <laughs> right? So bright here. Even with the glasses on, my eyes hurt. Doesn't anyone get the joke? Okay, let's try one more time. Strip. It's something zebras have, huh? Can anyone shut this thing up? Zebra? Uh, sorry, what are we talking about? I... I won't say it again. Let's hurry on. <laughs> 